I have a confession to make. This has been the case for quite some time and I'm finding it hard to put it into words. I know many people may not look at me the same way after hearing this and I understand and respect your values and opinions on the matter. I just hope it doesn't come too much as a shock. I'm sure many of you know of someone who also struggles with... I'm stalling. I know. I'll just come out and say it. I am a gamer. I know, it may be hard to hear or even believe, but I've been gaming since the see-through purple Game Boy Color dropped, and I've never looked back. I'm always chasing that dragon and looking for an experience I've never had before, but rarely does that dragon rear its head. It's a curse that I just can't break. You know, I thought it'd be a relief to tell you all this, but I still feel dirty. And that's just the way I like it. I have been gaming pretty much my whole life, which could be seen as pathetic or inspiring, depending on your predisposition. I've played an uncountable amount of games, which has left me numb to most everything that is being released today. I don't give a hoot about another mall of shooty. I have no shits to give about another free-to-play MMORPG ADHD TV on your phone. And I most certainly don't give a fuck about a soulless Souls clone that has no reason to exist other than to leech off from software's hard work. I want games I've never played before. I want a unique experience, whether it stems from innovation, imagination, inspiration, charm, cunning, comedy, personality, or anything original. Video games are an art, and yet the industry treats them like cattle, something for people to engorge themselves on before moving on and forgetting about it. The industry only seems interested in appealing to the lowest common denominator to make the biggest profit, so they only make things they already know people like. And there is nothing artistic about that. As I play more games, the percentage of ones I like dwindles. I'm not looking to be villainized or even praised for my most likely poor life choices. I just want to spread the word on some great games that need more love. Lunacid is a first-person adventure game that looks old, but is actually so new that it isn't even out yet. It is heavily inspired by two From Software IPs that aren't Dark Souls. Can you believe it? The story is about your character trying to escape this wacky underground world after getting kicked down a well because everyone around you is huffing dragon farts. I'm not entirely sure that's what it is, but that's how I interpreted it. Lunacid is a very old-school dungeon crawler that doesn't hold your hand at all. It throws you in and expects you to figure out everything on your own. The game is very cryptic by design, so it expects you to pay attention to every little detail. Getting through the areas can be pretty straightforward, however the fun of the game is in finding all the little secrets scattered about. In fact, I find secret hunting to be the main draw of the game. There are so many hidden areas, special interactions, and just goofy shit that I want to find it all. I want to know what other secrets this game holds. As of making this video, the game is in early access, and there is no end yet. So maybe that is why I continue exploring the areas in this game. But unlike most action games, I enjoy the exploration more than the combat. The combat can be a little difficult at first, but the game is very generous with leveling, so you can become pretty OP really fast. Which may sound boring, but since the game's value is in exploration and secret hunting, being able to annihilate the enemies in the areas you've been before just makes it that much more enjoyable to backtrack. Lunacid is a true adventure game. It's able to make exploration truly fun instead of a chore. Plus with characters like Demi, Patchouli, and Jalisha, there's plenty of waifu potential. If, th uh, if, that, if, if that's what you're looking for. <clears throat> Speaking of waifus, Pseudoregalia is an N64 looking ass 3D platform about a bodacious crucifix toting anthropomorphic jackalope thing that's trying to escape a dream or some shit. I don't really know what the story of this game is, but that's not what I was paying attention to. I'm talking about the gameplay, you degenerates. Just from looking at the footage, the animations don't have many frames, so the game may look a little choppy. It is anything but. This is one of the smoothest 3D platformers I've ever played. I truly think the movement in this game rivals those of the 3D Mario games, and games like A Hat in Time. The movement mechanics, the way they can be tied together, and the momentum make it fun just to fuck around and challenge yourself to reach places you may not even think are meant to be reached. 
but are. It's got great speedrun potential. This game is exactly what I want from an action platformer. The movement feels great and the combat abilities also double as traversal upgrades. The combat is pretty simplistic, but that's not the draw of the game. That being said, there are some really cool ideas in this game that I've never seen anywhere else, and I love to see that. Back on the art style, I personally love the simple visual design of this game, but it seconds as proof that the main focus is on the gameplay and how it feels. I've never played a game that feels so much better than it looks. And the craziest thing is that most of the game was created in three weeks for a game jam. The full version came out on Steam recently and is only $6. It's not long, you can probably beat it in like two and a half to four hours, but I still find myself replaying it because it's just a fun ass game. The last game I wanted to talk about, I'm surprised is not more popular. It's a Metroid style game that has a cute, little, silent, big eyed protagonist that eviscerates everything in its path with no regard for the concept of life. Sound familiar? It's called Doomblade. The story is about some cute demon thing with long floppy arms that finds a sentient sword and wants to kill everything. Are you the good guy? I don't know. Are you the bad guy? Maybe. I don't fucking care. It's fun. This game is fucking crazy. Right off the bat, this game grants you an ability that feels like it should be the last one you acquire. It's the ability to target any enemy on screen and attack them with a phase dash, even if there's a wall in the way. You dash through walls as part of the main game mechanic. How wacky is that? And then it escalates from there. You can imagine how goofy the combat gets. The game gets really tough because the developers truly understand the potential of the gameplay, and they deliver. Where in the beginning, you may be able to just get by by attacking randomly and clearing a room that way. But by the time you reach the first boss, the game really requires precision in what you attack, when you attack, and your positioning. That combined with the other abilities you acquire throughout the game make it a really unique and interesting challenge that plays like nothing I've ever played before. I think this game is so cool. I also don't know how long it is because I actually haven't beat it yet. If you're curious about Doomblade, there is a demo available that introduces you to the combat so you don't have to dedicate $15 to a game based off my opinions. Doomblade is so unique and so under the radar that it pretty much was my primary reason for making this video. Lunacid and Pseudo Regalia do deserve more attention as well, but they have around 2,000 reviews on Steam, whereas Doomblade has less than 100. And I think that's madness. Overall, these games have left more of an impression on me than most games I've played in the past year. These small developers slash publishers don't have the means of advertising all over the place, so many great games can go unseen, and it's sad. I just want to help out as much as I can because these creators deserve it, and I want to see them make more unique experiences. I am a gamer. I have played many games, and I can say for certain, these three games are truly original. Peace.